Hi students. Today we will start a new chapter called spreadsheet. Another name for spreadsheet is Excel. The software Microsoft Excel is of color green as you can see below. The symbol for the software is of color green and there is the alphabet X on the symbol of the software Microsoft Excel. Now, why do we use spreadsheet or Microsoft Excel? If ever I have to enter data which is in a tabular form, it is much easier to do it in Microsoft Excel. Why? Because there we have columns and rows. Therefore, the data will be much represented in a tabular form. Secondly, we can perform calculations much easier. And what software will, we will be using? We will be using Microsoft Excel to enter data much better, to perform calculations and to perform analysis on the data we have entered. Now, how to open the software Microsoft Excel? First step, click on Start button. Second step, scroll down the start menu until you reach letter E because Excel starts with letter E. Then you click on Excel 2016. Now if you can't find Microsoft Excel on your start menu, then you click on all programs, then you go on Microsoft Office, and then you click on Microsoft Excel. Remember when you are opening the software, you can identify it by the logo here, the green logo with letter X. It will facilitate you to open the software. Now watch this video. It click on start. And I will restart this. It click on start. And then it clicks on Excel. And you open a blank workbook. That is first. See again. Start button. Excel. And you open a blank workbook. Here is our Excel sheet. When you open Microsoft Excel, you will obtain a screen like this. Okay? In Microsoft Excel, you will have columns. Let's see it. This is column A. This is column C. This is column 
J. Now we will see rows. This is row 5. This is row 1. This is row 12. Therefore, we look to columns like this. These are columns and these are rows. Now, a small box in the Excel sheet is called a cell. C-E-L-L. -L. This is called a cell. Now, what cell is this? It is found in which column? E. And in which row? Six. Therefore, this is cell E6. Now, this cell, it is in column I and it is in row 8. Therefore, it is the cell I8. Next, this cell, it is M in column M. And in row 10, therefore, it is the cell M10. Okay, now let's continue. If you need to enter data or information in a cell, instead of clicking in each cell to enter information, you can use your arrow key. We have four arrow keys. Up, down, right and left. Depending on which cell you are going to type a text, you press on the arrow key. Now, let's work this question together. You will open your Microsoft Excel and enter these data as shown. In column A you have first name, column B you have last name, column C you have department and column D you have location. First name. Second cell, Dunal. Dunal. I have done an error. Dunal. Samuel. Henri. Ronica. Last name. Samson Madrid Brave To move to I need to move to the right therefore I use the right arrow key and then I can move up then department Department. Here you can see that department has gone in column D. Therefore, I need to increase the size of the column C. You click on column C. You bring your mouse at the end of column C and then you Pull it to the right. Finance, marketing, IT, administrative, 
then last column location bangalore hyderabad uh, phone new delhi you can see that hyderabad has gone in column e therefore you select the column of location you bring your mouse at the end of the column and you pull it to increase the size of the column now next to apply formatting to the text formatting what do i mean i mean to change the font font color or font size of the word found in the cell you must click in the cell and then apply your formatting compared to in microsoft word or powerpoint you selected the word here you must just click on the cell where the word is found and then you apply your formatting let's work question 1 change the font of first name to arial black first name you click on the cell the font we change here we need arial black you move down here arial black here you can see that the word we can't see the name n a m e therefore you select the column and you increase its size change the font color of last name to orange you click on the cell of last name and you choose the font color orange next question change the font size of finance to 27 finance the font size needs to be 27 when when there is the font size is not available you erase the value you type 27 and then you press enter here again you increase the size of the column Next, next question change the font of administrative to monotype cursive administrative the font is monotype cursive m o monotype cursive here is how you apply formatting to a text in an excel sheet you click in the cell and then you apply the formatting either you change its font its font size or its font color now next question how to insert a row between two specific rows for example i need to insert a row between donald and samuel donald is in row 2 and samuel is in row 3 therefore i have to insert a row between row 
and rook free. The rule you must follow here is always select the second one. Between row 2 and row 3, the second one is row 3. Therefore, you select row 3, right click on the row and then click on insert. Let's do it. Donald is in row 2, Samuel is in row 3, between row 2 and row 3, we must always select the second one. Between 2 and 3, 3 is the second one. We right click over here. And we click on insert. Here is how you insert a row between two specific rows. Now we have inserted the row between Donald and Samuel. Now we will type these details in the row we have inserted uh, first name Rini last name Burton department finance and location Port Wis now insert a row between Henri and Ronica Henri is in row 5. Ronica is in row 6. Therefore, between row 5 and row 6, the second one is row 6. Therefore, we select it, right click, and then click on Insert. We have inserted the row. Now we must type Sonia Singh Marketing and Cupid Therefore remember well if you have to enter a row, for example, between row 5, row 4, and row 5, between fa 4 and 5, you must always select the second one. Therefore, between 4 and 5, 5 is the second one. You select row 5. You right click and then you click on insert and then you have successfully inserted a row in between. Same, if you have to insert a column, always select the second one. For example, here. I have to insert a column between last name and department. Last name is in column B. Department is in column C. Between B and C, C is the second one. Therefore, I select column C which is for department I right click and then I click on insert now next question I have already inserted a column between last name and department and now I have to enter the details of age. Therefore, 
age 19, 21, 32, 28, 47, 50. Uh, there's an error here. I will enter a details for you. I will enter a value for age. There's an error in the question. Uh, therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 rows, 2, 3, and therefore it has 6 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I will add another row here in the question, there is an error. Mm. Last one is for administrative. I will write admin clerk. I have to insert a column between department and location. Department is in column D. E location is in column E. Therefore, between column D and column E, we always select the second one. Between D and E, E is the second one. Therefore, I right click and then click on insert. This I will delete it. We, no, we are no longer using the details here. I will erase it. Therefore, next question. We must enter the following details. Post held. Post held. Accounts officer. Clerk says clerk technician assistant says Admin. Let me do it here. Okay, we have an error here. Accounts officer clerk says clerk technician assistant says admin receptionist. I can see that there is a confusion in the data entered. But the main aim here is how to enter a row in between and how to enter a column in between two columns. If I have to enter a column between last name and age, what is the process? Column last name is in column B. Age is in column C. Therefore, between column B 
and column C. C is always the second one. We right click and we click on insert. Let's take another example. If I have to insert a column between post held and location. Post held is in column F. Location is in column G. Therefore, between F and G, we must select the second one. Therefore, between F and G, G is the second one. I select it, right click, and then click on Insert. Same. To insert a row between Sonia and Veronica, Sonia is in row 6. Veronica is in row 7. Between 6 and 7, 7 is the second one. Therefore, we select it, right click, and then click on Insert. This is how we insert a row in between two rows or we insert a column between two specific columns. Now, how to delete a specific row? For example, I want to delete the row for Henri. Here in the picture, Henri is in row 4. Therefore, we select the row for Henri, row 4. We right click and then we click on delete. Now, let's delete the row for Henri and Veronica. Henri here is in row 5. I select the row, right click, and then click on delete to erase it. Now I need to erase for Veronica. It is in row 7. I select row 7, right click, and then I choose delete. Say, if you have to delete a column, for example, I want to erase the column E. I select the column, right click, and then I click on Delete to erase it. Now, after you have completed your work, you must always save it in order to have a copy of your work. Therefore, you click on File tab, you click on Save as, where will you save it? You can save it on Desktop, Documents, Pictures, you give your work a name and then you click on Save button. I will save my work as staff details. I click on file, save as on my computer, on the desktop, and then I will give it the name staff details. And then I click on Save button. Here is how you save your work. Now a summary. Data in an Excel sheet is well represented, especially if I have to enter it in a tabular form. Next point. To move across the cells, 
We can use the arrow keys. Up, right, left, or down. The logo for Microsoft Excel is of green color and we have the letter X on it. To insert a row in between, we always select the second one. For example, between row 2 and row 3, the second one is row 3. Then we right click and we choose insert. Same for column. For example, if I have to insert between column C and column D, I will always select the second one. Therefore, D is the second one. And to delete a row, you must select the row and then you right click and choose delete. Same, if you have to delete a column, you select the column, you right click on it, and then you choose delete. I hope you have understood the lesson of today. Thanks for your attention.